Hey guys, Scoggins here to continue talking about the Pathfinder tool or the Pathfinder menu. Um, when we use the Pathfinder menu, we find that we have a lot of different options um, that we never had before. I use this actually a huge amount. There it is. And the worksheet that we have for you today is four artboards, and it's going through the different um, shape modes or Pathfinder modes that you have to use in order to create more complicated shapes or more simplistic shapes depending on what you're doing. Remember we talked about in the original shapes video um, that one of the benefits of using these different tools is you don't have to use the pen tool to do absolutely everything. Sometimes that can be a little bit much where this shape for example, which is kind of complicated, it's easier to use the Pathfinder using various shapes in order to create what we're looking for. Now on the worksheet, it kind of walks through the directions on how to use each tool. Basically, I've given you an original and you're gonna kind of duplicate my version in the yours box. Very simple, very straightforward, it's very easy, but the great thing about this worksheet is it gives you a really clear idea of what each of these different Pathfinder options do. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to basically use these, make sure that you are on not layer two, but on yours goes here so that you don't accidentally kind of mess up the directions. If you even want to lock that layer, it's always a good idea so you don't accidentally interfere. Um, make sure you know you want to use different colors and things like that in order to ensure that you are um, getting the true experience. So it walks you through all of the different ones. I'm not going to do all of these with you. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory how to get these done. Um, very simple, but you are going to be using the different shapes the way they are drawn here. So good luck. Very easy to do. Um, I'll do the first one with you and then I'm going to let you do the rest on your own because I think that's pretty fair. Um, so we're going to get our eclipse tool, our lips tool, excuse me, not eclipse. It's not a total eclipse. Um, I'm just going to set, it says a four point stroke on the red and a seven point stroke on the smaller circles. Um, for this, it doesn't really matter what colors you use, but I am going to use different colors in the example. Um, put a stroke on here. Just pick a color, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to draw some circles. Up this up to a seven. I'm going the wrong way. Seven point stroke to get it close to the version we had. Um, because we don't want to reinvent the wheel, we're just going to copy and paste this in order to get it. And the nice thing is, is these intersect tools line up, and it's going to help us kind of guide ourselves to get this pretty close to the other, which is nice. And then I'm just going to copy and paste these. Um, you can also use the transform if you want. That's pretty easy and just rotate them. Um, we're just going to put these kind of at an angle and we're going to slide them in here and just kind of get it so it makes sense. Um, again, this doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is just to get to use the tools and we're going to copy and paste again. And we're going to rotate to fit into our circle. If you were really crazy and really wanted to, to concern yourself with the alignment of all of these, you could use the align tools, um, which we're going to get to here in a few minutes um, on the next worksheet. But for our purposes, we're not really going crazy. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to get my circle again. This time I'm going to take my circle fill away and I'm going to give myself a four point stroke um, in a different color just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to hold down that shift key again in order to get that perfect circle. And I'm going to place my circle with the rest of my blue and green circles. I'm going to select, remember you have multiple ways to do this one. You can drag the mouse over. Um, or you can kind of hold down the shift key on your keyboard and individually click each item you want to use in the Unite key. So we're using Unite, so it's up under shape modes. All you do is hit Unite and boom. Again, doesn't look quite like mine, 
it doesn't really matter. That's not what we're going for. We're just going for understanding the general concept. Uniting shapes can be very, very useful. Um, so I'd like you to try the next ones on your own, minus front. This one looks like it'd be about the same, but it's not quite. We've got, you know, a circle, a square with a um, stroke on it. Again, if you're not quite sure what you're looking at, you can always kind of open these up and see that this particular shape, if I go into isolation mode, um, is a square with a stroke on it. Um, so it's very convenient having that layer there for you in order to um, figure out what the shapes are. But you're going to go through the whole worksheet and at the end I'd like you just to kind of create some of your own shapes using the various different shape modes um, or Pathfinder tools and then submit it and you're good to go. And I hope this really kind of gives you a great um, foundation on using the Pathfinder and how many ways it can be really versatile to your drawing. Thanks guys!